Today, I want to show you something you may not have considered running X slash Twitter ads for your business. Now, I'm going to show you something a little bit different because what you don't want to do is send them to your link. You want to get them to follow you. That way you can build a better relationship with them and they'll continue seeing your helpful post. When they're ready to buy or fill out your newsletter, they'll click the link in your bio or click on one of your products in your post. So in the sales funnel I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up that Twitter ad, where to send them and what to do for the follow-up because I think the follow-up is key. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links, and I've been doing this marketing stuff for the last eight years. And we got to build better relationships with our leads if we want more customers. Not everyone's ready to buy today. So if you just send them to a direct link and they've never heard of you before, why the heck would they buy or even be interested? So we got to build relationships through following up. So how I would set it up is just like this. And if you're new to my channel, comment new down below so that I can send you this full guide and you can use it and copy and paste it for your business. I would set up the Twitter ads in the Twitter ad manager and I would set it up for engagement. And what you want to do is try to get somebody to engage in that post and follow you. So something that I've done is I'm looking to connect with fellow entrepreneurs in Florida. So any entrepreneurs in Florida will see my post and they'll come connect and follow me and then I'll follow them back. Now for you, what can you do for your business? I'm looking to connect with people that are interested in health and fitness. I'm looking to connect with people that are interested in e-commerce. Whatever your brand is and who your ideal customers are, that's who you want to try to connect with. Try to get them to follow your page. Once they follow your page, now they're going to start seeing your social media posts. From here, you want to continue consistently posting helpful social media posts that educate, bring awareness, and help them, teach them, provide value to them. That way they see you as the expert. So if they're seeing your post every single day, if this is an education post, this is a helpful post that can give them free insights or tips, and this is another post maybe about a testimonial, they're going to start seeing you as the expert because you're building relationships and building trust. Why would they sign up and pay you before they trusted you and knew about you and your brand? From there, you want to make sure you have a good link in your bio. That link in the bio should always include a YouTube video on it. Why? Because if they watch one of your YouTube videos, now they're going to start seeing your other YouTube videos as recommended when they go back to YouTube to watch or learn something. So now they're seeing you in two different places. They're seeing you on your Twitter social media post, and they're also seeing you on your YouTube post. Even if they didn't fill out the form, as long as they push play on that YouTube video, we want YouTube to continue recommending you in their feed. Hopefully on that landing page, they filled out their email, either for a free guide, a free resource, or just to sign up for your newsletter. Newsletters are one of the most popular ways to get new leads so you can follow up with them, which is the key. Once they come to this page and they give you their email, you want to continue building education and value through your emails. This is a helpful email. This is a helpful email. Here's another helpful resource, another helpful resource, but always allow them to come back and pay you when they're ready. Most people won't pay today, but they may want to sign up tomorrow. They may want to sign up in a week. They may want to sign up in a month or even a year. I've had clients start working with me three years after being on my email list because they just weren't ready yet. Not everyone's ready to sign up today. So don't hate them for it. Build relationships and make it easy for them to come back. So now what you want to do in the ultimate sales funnel is setting someone from Twitter in a Twitter ad, trying to connect, build relationships, get them to follow you, and you can follow them back. Now they're going to start seeing your social media posts. Then they, we want to get them to the link in your bio or some sort of page where they'll see a YouTube video of you. We want to start recommending other YouTube videos and of course get them on the email list so they continue seeing your educational emails. Now you're top of mind, now you're an authority, and now you're an expert in your industry. They're going to look up to you and when they're ready to buy, they're going to come and hire you. So what are you waiting for? Set up a Twitter ad sales funnel like this. If you need any help, click on the link below and somebody from my team can help you get this set up so you can start building better relationships with your audience. And of course, get more Twitter followers, right? So thanks again for watching this video. And it'd be awesome if you subscribed so I can continue sending you value just like this. I'll see you on the next video. I hope you have a great day.